Hi, this is Vijay Bhamgwani and I'm recording this video as usual from my residence till the lockdown is lifted because of the coronavirus. I hope you're staying indoors, keeping yourself safe, occupied and watching the markets keenly for any uh, kind of changes in the undertone and keeping yourself sharp. Now, I, I'm recording this video with a specific uh, purpose of updating you about what I have read in the media in the last couple of hours and how it basically uh, uh, validates my hypothesis, which I have been talking pretty often in my videos on Equity Master. I have been saying that in the coming future, there will be elevated amounts of stress. I'm talking of financial, fiscal stress in Middle East, North Africa or MENA markets, APAC, Asia Pacific, Southeast Asia and LATAM, Latin America. Of course, Europe remains stressed as it is. So, in a, a, a recent uh, write-up on Bloomberg, I read a report about how the uh, three large economies in the Middle East are now officially under duress. We are talking about Egypt, a fairly large country. We are talking about UAE, United Arab Emirates, and we are talking Saudi Arabia. The PMI has gone below 50, which would mean contraction of the economy. Now, typically, uh, uh, the reason why I have been talking about the Middle East, uh, North African uh, countries remaining under stress is because most of them are dependent on uh, revenues from oil and uh, natural gas. So if prices of oil are falling and not just the prices, even the offtake, the, the consumption of oil is falling drastically, they have nowhere to sell. And if they are able to sell, they are receiving less per barrel of uh, oil that they, than they used to receive barely a quarter ago. So obviously, their revenues are cut off. Now, before you, you term this video as something of a downer or a, a discouragement, it is as actually a masked opportunity. I'm bringing forward to you an idea which can actually mitigate uh, this misery or a feeling of uh, doom and gloom uh, from the news that I'm giving you to putting a smile on your face. You see, we traders, we do not have the luxury of giving excuses. We are not in the business of staying relevant. We are in the business of staying profitable. So whether the market is up or the market is down, we need to put food on the table for the family three to four times a day and my family does not take excuses that the market is tough. So here is the deal. Now, these Middle East, North African countries and over a later uh, 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 with a slight time lag, I'm betting that LATAM, Southeast Asia, Asia Pacific countries will also start to show financial distress. How long will it take? I think the AMJ or the April, May, June quarter results when they start trickling in from July onwards, you will see that these economies are basically disclosing more and more stress. So when this stress starts to come in, India will also start feeling the impact. You, you cannot really avoid it because we are one large integrated global economy. It, the whole world is now a, a global village. 18% of our dollar inflows come from NRI remittances from Middle East, North Africa. We are not talking about merchant exports. We are not talking about goods that we actually sell to them. We are just talking of sweat money. If these economies are likely to shrink, are they expected to retain the same number of Indians in their employment? I do not think so. If you're up to date with the news, you will realize that the Ministry of External Affairs is now talking about over a quarter of a million Indians stranded abroad. Some of them tourists, but many of them actually employed abroad and they want to come back. So when an employee, a foreign employed NRI Indian comes back, remember his dollar revenue inflow or remittances also stop. 
which means that this is going to put a pressure on the INR, the Indian rupee versus the dollar. And India is an import dependent economy. I have kept on saying that once the rupee weakens against the dollar, we will start to import inflation. And when you start importing inflation, your uh, uh, national currency weakens further. Which would mean that the USD INR, which is the US, United States dollar, pegged against the uh, Indian national rupee, the dollar will move up and the rupee will come down. So the USD INR, which is a currency pair, will start to rise on the national stock exchange currency derivative segment, CDS. This is my game plan. I'm too small and too insignificant to actually reverse this negative news flow from Middle East, North Africa. I still need to feed my family. So what do I do? I, of course, feel sad about my brother and sister Indians who are going to lose their jobs and come home. But rather than sit on a table and behave like a weeping widow, I choose to choose an opportune moment when my charts indicate a buy on the USD INR and I intend to profit from it. I do not have the luxury of lamentation. I do not have the luxury of holding my head in my hands and saying, oh my God, what a miserable life. I need to make money. I need to keep home and earth going. So this is my game plan. I'm depending on the United States dollar versus the Indian national rupee, the USD INR futures on the national stock exchange currency derivative segment to mitigate some of this misery. I assure you, I will keep you updated on this in my future videos. Till then, do take very good take care of yourself, your investments, your trades and your health. Stay indoors. Before I sign off from this video, let me remind you to click like on this video if you are watching it on YouTube. In the comment section, do let me know what you want me to record in my future videos. And do not forget to inform, refer my videos to your family and friends and help me spread the cult of knowledge-based investments and trading. Also, join me on Equity Masters Telegram channel wherein I put in at least three updates every day, Monday to Friday, and I would love you to read them. The handle is Equity Master Official. See you out there. Vijay Bambani signing off for now. Till we meet again in my next video. Thank you. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter, Fast Profits Daily, and get my free guide, How to Trade Markets Like a Pro.